hey everyone in this video i am going to demonstrate how to create and save json data in a json file with the use of php and html so let's start with the creation of html file in which we are going to have a form upon submitting which we will be able to save the data so i am going to save this file as html so we are using vam server in that i have created html folder and the file name i am giving is html form under .html so let's start with the html tag in this we will be having head tag to display a title for the web page so i am giving title as html dot html to json now let's do a body part in the body i am giving heading same as that of page name so it will be html to json and now we will be creating a form so the action for form will be to a php file uh, to which we will be giving name as json store and the method will be post so we'll be sending data with post method and i'm going to create two fields uh, which are named as code and name so here is the first one as code and the second field will be name and creating a submit button type will be submit name is submit and value also will be submit so i'm saving this now let's see how this form looks on the web page so i'm opening a chrome browser and will be giving path as localhost slash html because i have created a html folder to store the our file so the path will be local slash html slash html underscore form dot html so this is our form looks we have a heading we have two text fields where we can input our data and a submit button which will be referring let's try create clicking on submit button what happens so it is redirecting to json underscore store dot php but we don't have this file yet so let's create this file here we'll be having logic to save the file data into a json file i'm naming it as json underscore store dot php so let's start with the open and ending tag of php now within this first thing we are going to do is have a file which will be a json file so i am declaring a variable file name which will be giving a name of that file and our file will be data.json we don't have this file yet created now if the file exists we will be reading data from it so that we can do updation of previously uh, added data so this is the method for that is file file name if it exists then we will be fetching data from that so the data will be file get contents and the file name we will be de declaring this variable also data as a empty at the start So I'm giving data is equal to empty. So if the file doesn't exist, we already have our data variable declared. And if it exists, the data will be updated from the provided file. Now let's get the data from that file. So here I'm creating another variable, JSON array. 
which will be de getting from decoding the json so json underscore decode dollar data and true now we have converted our de json data into json array let's add the new new fields so for adding the data is we have this notation it will be array of key value pairs so the key will be first key will be code and the value we will be getting from our form so which is using request params so dollar underscore request you have to declare over here and we will be reading code same we have to do for name as well so key will be name and the value will be request request of name so this way we can add a new data into json array now we have to decode it again and save to the file so to saving we can we have a method file underscore put underscore contains give the file file name and the data now we have to again encode the data so we will be using json underscore encode json array so this line will be saving data back to the file now we have to perform this operation only when the form is submitted that is uh, request submit is set so we are check, doing that check as well so if it's set request of submit that means we have clicked the submit button and the data has been passed to this php file from here so this is our and closing bracket let's save this file now let's try the example again we have this file created i'm going back to the html form refreshing it now we'll add some data and submit now this has redirected to json underscore date store.php and we can see file also has been created data.json if we check this file we can see the data is added in that file we can see the one record is there code is one name now we see the php file which uh, which shows nothing because it does only saving work so what we can do we can redirect back to html file once our data saving has been done so we are using header location back to the html file so i'll be copying the url so this way we can redirect back to the html file when we successfully added data now if we try it again we are trying second record after clicking submit it stayed on the same page but it has done the redirection we can see the second record added let's try one more record and we can see the rec third record also has been updated so this way we can update the json file using html and php uh, if you have any queries let me know in the comments i'll try to resolve them thank you for watching the video